Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is playing her game. And in this video, we are going to talk about reverse flicking knives that aren't necessarily supposed to be reverse flicked because they're flipper knives or whatever. Now, this one's kind of a cheat knife because it has thumb studs. So this one technically does not count because you could just use the thumb studs or reverse flick off the thumb studs, but it is very easy to reverse flick this knife without even using the studs. This is an awesome knife. The review is coming very soon. This is the Tucson TS-264. I can't wait to do this review. It's a pretty awesome knife. Now, I do wanna ask the community or the viewers a question. Um, something I'm working on for other videos and lives and stuff. I'd really like to know what is your favorite topic when you watch knives or when you watch videos on knives. Is it like cutting? Is it um, is it sharpening stuff? Is it stones? Is it uh, action? Is it ergos? Is it uh, you know, the types of brands, exclusives, is it older knives, is it fixed blades, is it, you know, front flippers, is it, you know, just what topic really interests you the most and you really like to listen about, talk talk about, or you just really like that subject. I'd really like to hear that, if you guys wouldn't mind letting me know. Also, EDC Journey is in the hospital Hopefully he gets out really soon. Supposedly he's okay, but he hasn't made any videos in the past couple days and he's not going to be able to until he gets out. So keep him in your prayers. Hopefully he's out very soon. I'm not 100% sure what's wrong, but um, hopefully he's out very soon. All right, next up, the mini sheepdog followed by the big sheepdog. Um, well, this is just the regular size version or the full size version. They do have an XL version. This is the mini and the mini is incredibly easy to reverse flick, especially with the acid edge coating. Now I have to imagine the big one is really easy with the coated blade, but even with this non-coated blade, it is pretty simple. It wasn't as easy as it is now that is broken in. You know, like when I first got it, it really wasn't that easy, but these knives have been known to have holes put in them right here for like spidey holes and have a flipper delete put on. So basically the flipper tab cut off because they are pretty good reverse flickers when it comes to putting holes in them. But in a lot of ways, you don't even need to. That's my fault. <laughs> you don't even need to because you can just do that. Um, like I said, this one's detent is still pretty strong, but you can tell it's really going to get easy very soon. And the, the mini one is super duper easy. Now, BJ from Hilltop Knife and Gear, he likes to mod these cut off the flipper tabs and put the holes in them. Looks really cool. So if you ever want that done, you can definitely check out his channel. Next up, speaking of coated blades, the Civivi Elementum with the coated blade is actually pretty easy to do this with. Now, my satin version, the my D2 satin version is not, but this S35VN version with the you know, the etching or with the black blade, it's super easy. I mean, very easy. And I have absolutely no problem flicking this. It's, the detent is still nice and good. I mean, the flipper tab still works really good. So it's not like it has an extremely light detent or anything. And all I'm doing is basically taking the side of my finger and using the friction from my skin right on the flat part right here, just on the other side and flicking it. It works really good. Like I said, the satin version, not so much. Next up. Now, this one, I'm going to do a two-fold because this one's kind of a cheat, too. Now, there are a lot of knives I can do that have thumb studs. That's why I'm not counting those. This one technically has a thumb disc, so it really doesn't count. The thumb disc is removed right now, but it also has a fuller. But it's very easy to reverse flick um, off of that fuller. Now... If I would have chose knives with fullers, there'd be all kinds of knives in this list. So I didn't choose any of those. So that's why this one really technically doesn't count. Now, this one technically shouldn't count either because it technically has a fuller. 
but it's so hidden that it's hard to see, but it does have a fuller. And, oh, I forgot to say, this is the Drop Trizola, the Trizola designed drop knife. Now, this one is the Tuya Envy DW1. So, this is the first Envy by Dave Warren. The second one, the Envy 2, has the hollow ground drop point blade. They both have compound grinds. This one is the Tonto, but, oh, that was my fault. But very easy to flick off that fuller. It is a little tight in there, but you can get it. Next up, the Civive, or sorry, the Artisan Centauri. The Artisan Centauri is very, very easy to reverse flick off of. I mean, it is super easy. I mean, it's almost easier for me to do that than to top flip it. And the top flipping action is incredibly easy, too. So that says how easy it really is when I'm saying that it's easier to reverse flick this than it is to top flip it. This is an awesome knife. Really good knife. Really love this knife. Really badass. Next up, this one's a little hard to get. Um, like this knife, this knife's also almost impossible to get because there was only a hundred of them made. But the Orbit by G and G Hawk and Serge Panchico is supposed to be just a top flipper or you know just a flipper, and it has the the G and G lock. But the reverse flick is so easy on this. I mean, this thing's incredibly easy to reverse flick. Now these are in no particular order, but this one is incredibly easy. Next up, the Riat T2500. Sounds like a Terminator, but it is a little, very little compact knife, but the reverse flick is super easy on this knife. I mean, it, this thing is very easy. I mean, I actually tend to like to reverse flick it more than use the flipper tab. As the flipper tab, it has a, like, you can get locked out very easily. It does have death lock, and this is a very slippery flipper tab. So I like to thumb flick it like that, or I'm just very careful, keep my fingers off the lock bar when I snap it down. And if I'm very careful, it, uh, you know, I'm okay, but I've just slipped off it so many times and it's kind of pokey. So it's very easy to just reverse flick. Not a problem. That's the Riat T2500. Next up, only two left. Best Tech Goblin. This knife is another one that is so easy. And the flipping action's incredible. But man, that reverse flick is so easy. You just basically put your finger right behind this flat right here. Sorry, my the bleed is a little dirty, but ooh, I'm trying to do it very lightly to show you how easy it is. I mean, I can very lightly. It's so easy to do. It almost feels like it was supposed to be set up with a finger flicking hole. But yeah, very awesome. Best Tech Goblin. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, this is a Tachi Barucha design. Forgot to say that. And this is a Ray Laconico design. Last but not least, this happens to be a prototype that is going to be dropping very, very soon. This is the Alien DX2 S35VN. Titanium G10 with a titanium liner under the G10. This knife is very, very nice. Now, the OEM is supposed to be, and I'm going to reverse like it, is supposed to be, or is going to be, I'm not supposed to be, is going to be, um, oh, what's their name? I can't even think of it now. Oh, the, um, Concept or concept. Man, I could not think of it for a second. I had to pause it and actually think. Concept knives are the ones that are doing the OM work, OEM work on this. This is an amazing knife. It's easy to reverse flick, yet it has a very clicky detent. Great detent. The flipping action is still amazing. So many things are done so right on this knife. 
and then hopefully I can get it to come up. But look at how thin this grind is. Eight thousandths behind the edge. You can see it right here. Look how thin. It's a, a super tall, super deep hollow grind. Nice thin blade. You can actually see it right there too. How it really thins out. But you can really see it when you see it like that. I mean, this thing is a razor. And this thing goes through, through cardboard or through anything. Super easy. And since it's sporting S35VN, really um, keeps the blade nice and strong. What a great knife. Amazing, amazing design. And um, hopefully everybody's getting theirs pretty soon because it should be dropping here very soon because it did have a Kickstarter. There you guys go. Hopefully you guys answer my question. I really would love to hear that. Also, if you have any questions on knife sharpening or anything like that, I am going to be incorporating a lot of answers through my next sharpening videos. I love you guys. Peace.